All right, so I've been waiting for a bit to uh, produce this clutch or have this clutch of eggs laid rather because we're gonna be trying something new. So we have these guys, Orbeez. Now this isn't an original idea. I got this idea from Juan over at Windy City Morphs. He's been using them for a while with great success. And overall, I'm really tired of using, um, what do I use, Perlite. The stuff is, first it is really dusty, which I don't like. So whenever I pour water into it, it like kicks up a bunch of dust. Um, it sticks to the bottom of the incubation tub. So whenever I do knock out most of it, I have to spend a lot of time scraping that stuff out. And then everything else gets stuck in my um, sink like strainer that I use to wash out all of my tubs. So I really don't like that. These guys are super cheap. And from everything that I've seen, you basically just put a very small amount of these in the bottom of a tub, um, let that soak up the water, and then you put your egg tray right on top of that and you know incubate the eggs as normal. These things are gonna hold a lot of moisture or a lot of like water or whatever to keep the humidity up within the incubation tray. And I just like it because there's gonna be, I think, a lot less mess. And these guys are like way cheaper. Like you get like, I mean, a lot. There's, you get a lot of these things per pack and it's gonna last you a long time. Um, not that um, perlite or vermiculite doesn't last a long time. I just don't like that it gets all stuck over the animals and everything else. Cause what I've been doing um, recently is once the eggs pip, I actually take them completely out of the tray, put them in an empty box with a paper towel and a little bit of water on the floor and a water cup. And then I just let them get out of the egg in there because I don't want them crawling around getting all the perlite and all that stuff stuck on them because it's really just a pain to get off. So I'm really looking forward to trying these out. So what we're gonna do now is we are going to set up one of the uh, hatchling boxes. We are going to pull the eggs and get them set up and put in the incubator. All right, so all we have here is our little tray. So everything I've seen is pretty much just a couple of these guys. So we can always add more if we need to, but basically just adding a small layer which I could imagine the uh, audio might be horrendous with the little beads going in the background. So like I said, so a small layer, so very small amount here. Just gonna spread those out a little bit and then I'm just gonna add some hot water to this. I don't know how much to really add. So we're gonna play it by ear. And I wanna say you have to let them sit for a little bit. So it says the ratio of water to beads is about one to 110. So, wow, it takes four to eight hours for uh, these to grow. So um, that's not exactly what I had in mind. All right, so for sake of argument and because I'm a jackass, I am going to still pull the clutch. I am going to use the perlite, which I don't really like much anymore. And we'll see a lot of reasons why. So as soon as I pour this stuff, you can already see this billowing cloud basically come up with all of the just dust, which again, is something that I don't really like about it. Not a big fan. Um, I did put a little too much in there. So we're gonna give some of that back. This stuff definitely makes a mess. I'm not a big fan of uh, fan of all the dust and all that stuff that comes up from this. And then we just gotta add water. All right, so the good news is we basically did all that for nothing. And the time that I was dealing with all that nonsense, these guys already basically expanded. They soaked up all the water. I am gonna pour a little bit more in there just to have it. Um, but overall, they've basically grown. They've put enough of a layer in there to where we are going to have um, enough liquid, I think, you know, for the tray box just to sit right on top of there. So as you can see, they basically soaked up all of the liquid and it'll be really easy to put the tray box just right on top. Tray box on top. And that's still a good amount of space. 
as far as on there. So sometimes whenever you have the um, perlite in there, it'll be really tight and then you gotta take some off. But this, if it does seem to ever get low, you can always just add more water and it's gonna rehydrate those beads. Although from my understanding, that isn't something that Juan or anybody else that started using these things has had to do. So that to me is uh, pretty cool. So before we pull the clutch, um, I will say I am uh, slightly unprepared for this video. I have been waiting for this female to lay for quite a while and it's definitely not as um, well put together or as pretty as I would have liked, but um, mostly because I didn't read the instructions and I'm glad they've basically filled out since then. I am going to keep a close eye on this just to make sure it doesn't get it too full um, because this is a really cool clutch. So this clutch was a pairing from our blackhead exanthic male, male to a pastel or blackhead exanthic het pied male to our pastel desert ghost het exanthic female. So really cool clutch with the possibilities of producing blackhead exanthics that are double het DG pied, you know, pending some genetic testing. But nonetheless, even I think like a super blackhead DG Exanthic would look really cool. You don't even need the pied, but it would be really cool to have it. So let's see what we got as far as the clutches concerned. Okay, so oh, let me rotate her so we can actually kind of see what's going on. We're gonna use her neighbor as the home. So you can see she is a very light, really beautiful girl. We're going to yoink her right off of those eggs. And here she is. She almost looks like a DG Exanthic herself. So I really like her look. She's really beautiful, really bright, really light. So, And it looks like we have six. Oh, hey now, we're buddies. Well, I'm stealing your future children, but nonetheless. So we have six eggs. So nice, good sized eggs. Let me just put these down here so I don't have to mess with them. And then I'm going to put her back so she is not trying to strike at me. Let's see. Hey, what are you looking at me for? So overall, the eggs look really good. So one thing we're gonna have to do is we are going to have to candle them to uh, basically just check and make sure that the um, embryos are right side up. I have heard that that's not that big of a deal and it doesn't really matter, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. That's something we've been doing um, since we've been producing ball python eggs. So if it's not broke, no need to fix it, right? All right, so when we're looking for the embryo, basically I just put my phone right behind it and then I give this a little bit of a jiggle. So you'll see that little guy right up top there kind of moving around. So that is basically the embryo. So I make sure that part is going to be on the uh, top um, as it's put in the incubation tray. So super simple and the eggs look really cool whenever you put the light into them like that too, which is just kind of fun. All right, so there we have it, our experiment using the uh, Orbeez to uh, incubate the eggs. Um, it looks like these should hatch um, around December 23rd, so potentially Christmas babies. That'll be pretty exciting. Um, let me know what you think. Are you uh, gonna try the Orbeez? I think that you know, just not having to deal with the dust, not having to deal with scraping the bottom of every egg box that you ever use is just gonna, one, save a little bit of time, but overall, it's just a little bit cleaner of an experience. And um, I think it's beneficial to be able to use those, those little guys that'll kind of hold that humidity in there without creating all the dust, all those particles, all those different things that are gonna get on the ball pythons as they are cruising around. Either way, let me know what you think. And uh, thanks for taking the time to watch this video. We will uh, see you in the next one.